slugs and snails act as intermediate hosts for the lungworm, Angiostrongylus vasorum, harbouring the third stage larvae in their tissues. If a dog eats an infected slug or snail, the worm larvae are freed by digestion of the mollusk in the dog's intestine. The larvae penetrate the gut wall and move to the regional lymph nodes where two further molts take place. The fifth stage larvae then migrate via the liver and caudal vena cava to the right ventricle. Ten days post-infection, the larvae have reached the right ventricle and pulmonary artery where they develop to maturity. The adult females produce eggs in which the first stage larvae develop. These eggs travel via the bloodstream to the lungs, where the presence of the parasite causes its pathogenic effects. The first stage larvae hatch out in the lung capillary beds and penetrate the connective tissues. This results in a marked inflammatory reaction with the development of granulomas, haemorrhage and fibrosis. The larvae cross into the alveoli and migrate to the trachea. They are coughed up and subsequently swallowed. The larvae travel along the intestines and are excreted with the faeces into the environment. Slugs and snails that come into contact with the faeces are infected with these first stage larvae via oral exposure. Inside the mollusk, development to the infective third larval stage occurs and a new cycle begins.